It's uh, 10 minutes now after the hour. Coach John Limbaugh Show brought to you by Lori Darlings in Fayetteville, Alabama, as well as a location in Childersburg. And Lori Darlings always does a great job in not only feeding the Fayetteville football team their pregame meal, but they feed folks like us every day, too. And it's a great place to eat. Good morning, John. Absolutely. It is a great place to eat. We appreciate it. Uh Lord Darlings and all that they do for us. They do a great job. You know, uh, hamburger steak might be a little bit hard to swallow after the loss to Horseshoe Bend last yeah. week, though. Yeah, it was a, a game where uh, we uh, we didn't even get off the bus. We uh, we played a bad game, and you know I take responsibility for that. But we didn't look good, Jimmy. We didn't look good, and we didn't play well. We didn't execute our offense. We didn't tackle on defense. And, you know, how you figure that? You know? uh, well, teenagers does a lot to do with it, <laughs> but it just wasn't our night. It wasn't our night, and they were ready uh, for the ball game. And better they, than you thought, right? They were a lot better. They're they were a really strong team, really, you know, large in size, quick, backfield, and uh, they took it to us. They took us to the woodshed, so to speak. So, um, you know, we had to regroup and, and get back to the basics on a lot of things, get back with our fundamentals, and we've been doing that all week long and had a great week of practice. Had a good week. Did did you sense it going into the game that hey, you know we got to pick this up a little bit? I'm not getting good vibes about it. We we did after the first quarter got underway, and uh, things wasn't really clicking for us. And you can tell pretty quickly. But before the game, we felt good about everything. We felt real good about the game. Felt good about uh, uh, our opponent. And uh, but you know, like I said, they lost some games to uh, like Holland Home teams like that. And uh, very, very good uh, uh, opponents they were facing. Uh, just a little bit stronger in caliber teams they were facing. So uh, they were they were ready for us. And, and um, you know, if they played in a different league, I think they'd be a playoff team. Mm -hmm. They're really good. You know. Well, it had to be a long trip back down 22 to yeah. uh, Talladega County. And uh, you, you began to get ready for Thorsby after taking a look at the tape uh, from last week's game. Anything come out of that, a positive? No, sir. Uh, the, the, the positive was that uh, we got another game this week. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the thing about this. We didn't, we didn't have anything positive on the film. Uh, uh, you know, we had a couple of guys that played really hard. Couple of guys that, that that played well, but as far as uh, uh, positives, not last week. We we uh, to be honest, just we, put we it just, right out on the table, yeah, right? We, just, we didn't play very good ball, and uh, the kids know that I were, was a little bit upset about it. And uh, our coaching staff, you know, we didn't do a great job, and I didn't do a great job, and kids didn't do a great job. It's all you know, we're all family, and sometimes we have nights like that, and that was our night like that. But uh, we expect a different outcome. Uh, uh, tonight, uh, we've been working all week, and uh, you know Monday's practice was a good practice. We got out Monday, and got after it Monday morning, and and uh, you know we're out school race weekend, got out there Monday morning, had a, had a great practice, and have ever since. Yesterday's run through was real clean, no problems, no drop balls, no missed snaps, anything went really like clockwork, you know. But uh, you know special teams last week wasn't wasn't great, and made some mistakes there, made some mistakes on the offensive side and defensive side. So we just got to clean all that up. And again, uh, like we said last week, we got to play for uh, 48 minutes. I don't think we played for eight minutes last week. Special teams have been a nemesis, uh, nemesis for you yeah. guys this season. Up and down. Well, some weeks we look really good, some weeks we don't. So, uh, you know, we've got a few changes coming up this uh, tonight. So hopefully these changes will make our offensively, defensively, special teams wise, will put us in a better position to win a ball game. So Thorsby is a playoff caliber football team. Uh, they're they're one more win and they're in the playoffs. Uh, they're four and one. Only game they lost it was to a larger school, Jemison. Lost it, I believe it was 27-26. Lost by one point. They won the rest of them. Daryl Davis, uh, Coach Davis, does a great job with them. Uh, they're always ready, but we always had a really good rivalry with them. Close games, as in last year's game, uh, we knocked one ball down or catch. One ball on offense, knock one down on defense, catch one on offense, we win the ball game. It was that close of a game last year. But, uh, you know, we're looking for a, a great game this year. We're at their place. They're excited. They're going to come, and, uh, you know, they're, they're going to fill up the stadium up. So we got to get there and, and, and be ready to play ball. Yeah, and uh, coming off a, a disappointing loss last week, uh, 
it's all hands on deck. Uh, you know, yeah. if, if you want to play for Fayetteville, you better get with it, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's done in the nitty gritty now. We've got to win this ball game to keep our playoff hopes alive. And it's a ball game we believe that we can win. And our kids are excited about the opportunity. And, you know, our kids come back every week ready to play. They come back in, and that's what I love about our guys. I wouldn't trade them for anybody in the world. They, they're kids that they're resilient. Uh, they, they, they fight back. Uh, they're a great group of kids to coach, and I'm, I'm honored to coach them. We just got to play better. It's amazing from week to week what you can expect from from kids. They're 16, 17 yeah. year old, 15 year old kids, yeah. and and uh, but actually, yeah. the, you know, the buck stops at your desk. Absolutely, it does. You know, kids are. Uh, they're different uh, day to day, but uh, they'll make you smile and, and they'll, they'll uh, cause you a little angst every now and then too. But uh, I love them to death and uh, but it all stops at, uh, at, at me as, as the head coach and, and uh, we've regrouped and reworked some things and so we're going to see what takes place tonight and I believe it's going to be a lot better. And I thank our fans so very much. Uh, all the FEPA family comes mm -hmm. out and supports and I appreciate them so, so very much. And, and uh, appreciate our administrators, you know, uh, Lynn Ritchie and, and, and Brooke Brewer, they do a great job. And, uh, of course, it all starts to talk with Dr. Lacey, you know, she, she leads all our schools. But we really appreciate of all the efforts that everybody puts in. But, you know, Jimmy, at the end of the day, uh, 10 years from now, what kind of kid have we made into a man? Uh, what kind of man has he become? Uh, is he a good father? Is he a, is he a good husband? And at, at the end of the day, that's what matters, mm -hmm. you know. Trophies rust and accomplishments sometimes they, you know, tarnish. But uh, uh, a family goes on forever, and, you know. And and, and uh, we want to instill that in our kids: the importance of family and work ethic, and and uh, getting back up off the canvas and, and getting back in the ring. So let's talk a little bit more about Thorsby. What problems do they present offensively to your defense? Well, they're going to get in an overset, and uh, they're going to just run the ball right at you. Uh, they don't throw it that much. Uh, that's because they're so good at running the ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're going to get in that heavy set, uh, you know, what we call it, and they're going to run and run and run the ball some more. So our defense uh, is ready for that. We've shown them everything they're going to do. We've got to be in the right position and got to go strike and make the play. Offensively for the Wolves, you've got to put points on the board. Absolutely. Well, you know, number 14, Cam Hammonds finds his way to the end zone. Uh, he's got a lot of touchdowns on the year. And uh, last week, you know, last week, uh, our quarterbacks and also Cam and a couple of our running backs, we rushed for, I think it was 202 yards in the game. That'll win a lot of games but, for you, normally. Yeah, right, but this, they, you know, our passing game, uh, we threw one touchdown pass and threw a couple of other completions. There were some things that were working pretty decent. But we got to put it all together into one, one, one load tonight. All right, let's talk about a player that uh, kind of stands out for us this morning from the Fayetteville Wolves. Well, uh, offensively, I think Carter Goins came in at quarterback and did a good job and, and uh, appreciate what he, he brought to the table, ran the ball well, and did some, some things quite, quite well. And, um, you know, we, some of our linemen, you know, uh, Peyton Kraft, he uh, continues to do a good job for us. We're very appreciative of, of him. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, you know, Cam did a good job last week as much as he could. He ran the ball hard and he hit hard on the defensive side of the ball. And, and uh, I appreciate that, that very much. And, and, and you know, Brent Cantrell, uh, he's our quarterback, and he's stepping up as a, a leader on the field and doing a, doing a good job with his leadership. I actually this week uh, <coughs> moved him up onto our leadership team. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he made that move this week. So we're excited about what he's doing. Uh, coaching staffs, they spend a lot of time yeah. together. I know you're awfully proud of your staff. Oh, I, I love our guys, and, and, uh, and they know it. But, uh, it's a great uh, camaraderie, a great group of uh, coaches, and they work hard, and I appreciate the job Coach Collier's uh, given us this year, giving us that offensive identity, and, uh, you know, Coach Jacks on the defensive side of the ball, and he's doing a great job. And uh, I guess one of the loneliest jobs in, in all of football is a defense coordinator. Uh, you know, uh, you don't know what the other guys are going to do, so you got to get got to get ready for that. Uh, as offensive-minded coaches, we know what defense they're going to be in. We just got got to out scheme them. And uh, you know, defense of the ball can be very tricky and <clears throat> very difficult. Mm -hmm. My thing, he does a great job. No doubt about it. Fayetteville. <laughs> 
on the road to Thornsby tonight, kick at 7 o'clock, and need that W tonight to keep us in the hunt for the playoffs and look ahead to homecoming next week, right? Absolutely. Homecoming's going to be a lot going on next week from uh, parades to bonfires. So it's going to be... <laughs> going to be a lot of fun. Isn't it? All right, at Coach, always a pleasure. Field. Thanks for coming today. Appreciate it, Jimmy. Go Wolves. Head football coach and athletic director of the Fayetteville Wolves, John Limbaugh, this morning, brought to you by Lori Darlings in Fayetteville and Shouldersburg. More daybreak after this.